Hey, Ability family. Uh, today we are going to get nerdy, uh, which is great for our analytical folks and our uh, level twos, as Matt calls them. Uh, and so we're going to start by talking about uh, how yesterday we discussed the sympathetic nervous system and how that leads to increased blood pressure. And today we're going to dive into how. Okay, so if you see me glancing down, it's just because I'm referencing my note cards here. Uh, so anyway, uh, we're going to start with the basic principle of Boyle's Law. And essentially what that is, uh, is that it states pressure and volume are inversely proportional. And so that means as volume goes down, pressure goes up. And as volume goes up, pressure goes down. Okay. And so what that looks like in our cardiovascular system uh, is through uh, vasodilation or widening and vasoconstriction or narrowing. And so as it gets wider, there's more volume, there's less pressure. As it narrows, it gets uh, lower volume and more pressure. And <clears throat> the sympathetic nervous system causes vasoconstriction or narrowing. Um, and so combine vasoconstriction with increased heart rate through your sympathetic nervous system, that's gonna result in increased blood pressure, okay? And so right now we're going to dive into a diagram that's gonna help elevate our uh, nerdy status. And so in this diagram, you can see that uh, there is a sympathetic nerve fiber next to a muscle fiber. And so this is on the lining of a blood vessel, a smooth muscle. And so with any muscle, you need calcium to cause contraction. And so when we have vasoconstriction, that's when that muscle contracts. And so when the sympathetic nervous system is activated, this nerve fiber will release norepinephrine, which crosses that little synaptic cleft there to get to the smooth muscle cells. Once it hits a receptor there, calcium will enter and therefore result in contraction. Uh, when those vessels contract, then that's going to increase your blood pressure, okay? And so that's kind of the cascade of events as to exactly how that nerve fiber causes a contraction of the, mu the muscles in the blood vessels causing increased blood pressure. Um, and so when conveying this to a patient, it might not seem that mind blowing, might not seem that significant, might just be kind of a cool fact. Um, but we have to think about how that affects the lives of, of many families across America. And so when we look at the number one cause of death, it, it's not car accidents, it's not you know um, anything other than heart disease, uh, cardiovascular disease. And so in 2016, over 840,000 deaths in the US alone were from, from heart disease. So imagine those lives, if they had been to a chiropractor, what the outcome could have been. For some of them, there are other factors that would have led them to the, the same end result, but for a lot of them, things could have been changed. They could have found chiropractic care. It could have directly helped through the nervous system decrease the blood pressure. It could have helped them clean up their diet. It could have helped them get more active um, because they're feeling and functioning on a higher level. Um, so, with that said, go change some paradigms, save some lives, and have a great Tuesday, guys.